possibly it had occurred to Gadsden that the colossal significance of that life just vanished forever.
Stella Letters was commissioned in memory of Marissa L., a beloved daughter, teacher, and friend of the composer who passed away at the age of 25 due to an undiagnosed heart defect. Marissa taught at the Celia Cruz School of Music in the Bronx, New York. Stella Maris is the term that references Polaris, the North Star. Religiously, it is synonymous with the Virgin Mary. Symbolically, its role is as the star that protects and guides. The name Marissa, equivalent to Maria, is the basis for this traditional term. The philosophical stance of Marissa is our guiding, protecting star is the premise of this memorial and tribute composition by Samuel Hazer. Stella Maris, tengo siempre sus sueños adentro. Stella Maris, yo sueño que tú estás al lado de mí. En todas partes hay amor, tú estás allí. Cariño mío, si las estrellas caigan del cielo, yo deseo que tú estés al lado de mí. Stella Maris, tú verás algún día, estaré donde tú estás. Tu verás algún día, estaré donde tu estás.
Okay. Before we perform the last piece of our concert, we'll do the senior recognition segment of our program. One of the most famous quotes in the world of musical performance comes from the legendary Ludwig von Beethoven. Don't only practice your art, but force your way into its secrets. As we think about that quote, please allow me to continue. Most of our graduating seniors have been in bands since fourth grade. These students have endured hours of individual and group practice, numerous technical corrections from many different directors, musical shaping and guiding, exciting performance successes, and maybe even shedding some tears along the way. After all of their time growing as musicians, they've reached a point in their study that typifies Beethoven's quote. These students have truly forced their way into their music secrets, sealing their existence forever as musicians of the Marcus Whitman Band program. In my 28 years as a band director, Along the way, I have had the pleasure of working with some very talented young musicians. Throughout those years, a group of students as special as this year's seniors have only appeared a couple times. Their dedication, diligence, sensitivity, and vulnerability have made it a privilege for me to be their band director. They will be marked in my tenure as an example of one of the best times of my own musical journey. And I cannot thank them enough for that gift. And I hope that they all continue to keep their music present in their lives for years to come. Seniors, as I read your name, please come down to the front of the stage to form a line. Leah Aaron. Christensen, Natalie Cunningham, Tim Cranston, Aliyah Herbert, Jasmine Johnson, Stay there for a moment longer. Uh, the band boosters would like to congratulate all of the seniors of the class of 2022 with these individualized uh, blankets. Uh, thank them for their years of service to the band arts. Thank you. All right, seniors, you can return to your seats. Thank you so much. We have two special awards to continue with for our seniors. Our special senior awards are the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award and the John Philip Sousa Band Award, each with their own excellence. With such a large group of seniors, as you can imagine, it was extremely difficult to choose just two for those awards. 
The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award was introduced in 1974 in the name of the famous jazz artist to nationally honor the outstanding jazz musicians at each high school who exhibit superior dedication, musicianship, and creativity. What the John Philip Sousa Band Award is to concert band, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is to jazz band. This year's recipient will be joining the ranks of some of the best jazz musicians in our country. The Marcus Whitman High School Jazz Band Senior to be awarded this honor is synonymous with the spirit of jazz. Through her energetic and creative playing, she has been able to inspire other jazz students as well as her director. Although she may doubt her influence on us, it is fitting to express our gratitude and to acknowledge her contributions to our jazz band and band program. Chase Bond, can you please come and accept this award? of Sousa's birth with the enthusiastic approval of his two surviving daughters, Helen and Priscilla. This national award is the gold standard for high school band students and recognizes superior musicianship and dedication. This award is presented to the highest achieving graduating senior in high school concert band. This year's recipient will be joining the ranks of many of the best musicians in our country. This year's Marcus Whitman recipient has met the award criteria and gone way beyond. Although he is humble and can shy away from the limelight, it is fitting to express our gratitude and acknowledge his contributions to our program. Austin Kephart, please come and accept this match. musical journey through the life of young Merlin and Arthur, Lady of the Lake, and the Legend of the Sword, Excalibur. For lo, thou hast now sword, nor hast thou spear, nor hast thou even thine misericordia for to do battle withal. How then mayst thou hope for to essay this adventure? The name of the sword is Excalibur, it being named so by those who have beheld it because of its marvelous brightness, beauty, and power. <laughs> 